Hej, w ranej Marwazirin, welcome to Shadow Tactics Blaze of the Shogun. So, Shadow Tactics Blaze of the Shogun is a tactical stealth game. If you ever played Commandos, which is a pretty damn old game, it's kind of like that. And if you didn't, it's a tactical stealth game. It's not a genre you see very often these days, so I'm curious to see if it's any good. I've not really played it yet, which means we're going to discover the game together. And without further ado, let's get into the game then, shall we? We will start a new game. There are a few difficulty levels. Beginner, normal and hardcore. Let's go with normal. You can change the difficulty at any point in the mission menu. Alright then. So if it's too easy or too hard, we can always change it. English, obviously. <laughs> My Japanese is a little bit rusty. Japan. Early Edo period. Sucks to be that guy. Personal. Just can't have you warn the others up there. Looks like a whole nest of guards. Who'd have thought? This might actually get challenging. Okay then. Not much happening here. I'll keep my head down, just in case. Barricades everywhere. Bet they're preparing for the Shogun's next attack. First order is to reach that gate. Should be a good warm-up for the real mission. So, that's Climbing us. won't be a problem. Better hurry, though. The Shogun will start his attack soon. Let's take a look around. See what's going on here. We got the quest log. Climb the cliff and infiltrate the castle. Okay. Looks like we can have up to five characters. Yours mode, movement stance. And what's this? Genjutsu. That's our weapon. Okay then. I'm going in. Running. Double left mouse. Quiet. Okay. Have to improvise. Hmm. <laughs> No straight path. And how do we climb? Oh, also, can we search the guard? I'm ready. Well, there's no nothing noise. interesting there. Jump across. Move like water. All right, and up we go. So space is toggle between standing and crouching, and left control is use mode. When activated, you can use environmental objects. Like this, if there's anything to use. Nothing to use over here. Alright. And what do we do here? I have to take a shortcut. A shortcut, eh? No noise. I'm going in. We can jump. Hmm. No str Alright. Looks good. Six months of this. Move like water. Longer will this go on? I wonder if they will hear us if we move across or run across. I'm going in. Let's not find out. Yours. Alright, what's that? Mission log. Press B to open the mission log. Yep. It also gives you hints and logs all conversations you hear. Alright. All tutorials to pick up will appear in the mission log as well. Oh, that was just a tutorial message that we picked up. All right. Hints. If the alarm is raised, all enemies in the area will look for you and reinforcements will come from the nearest guardhouse. All right. Dialogue log. I like that. Tutorials and badges. So, where to? Can we jump across, or is this too far away? Oh, we can jump across like this. That doesn't look entirely stable, <laughs> let's just say. And it certainly wasn't. Like Alright. Rotate camera, hold left alt. Oh, nice. 
Okay. And where do we go now? Over here, from the looks of it. There's the next tutorial. Right. No Sounds voice. good. So jump across. Have to improvise. And right. jump across again. <laughs> What's going on here? No, I don't Take want to go shortcut. up there just yet. Let's jump down for a moment. So what's going on with that? Quick save. F5, quick save. F8, quick load. The timer on the upper edge tracks the time since your latest quick save. Oh, okay. F5, quick save. All right. Move like water. Up we go. And let's maybe be careful. Reset camera. W. I'm going. Quick save. F5. We already know that part. And we need to go up, or... No, we need to jump down and kill the guard, from the looks of it. And that's how we do it. RIP. Okay, what do we do now? Can we move the body? We can drop it down here. Right, let's be careful. Crouch. I suppose we can save. I assume this is sort of a tutorial mission. Introduction mission, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we can move into the building. See what's going on here. Not a whole lot. Okay, then. We can't actually see inside the building itself. Alright. So this way, there's the next tutorial message. Highlight, age. They okay. to death. Bad way to go. So can we kill this guy? Uh, hold on, is there pause or something like this? Let's check the tutorial message first. See what's going on with that. Yes, we can kill enemies. Press A, choose a target and right. For a non-lethal approach, press Y to select a knockout or switch mods in your skill bar. Hold left control when using left mouse button and Hayato will pick up the body automatically. Okay, so we can kill him or... Where was the other option? Just switch it off. Blades ready. Wait, hold on. Let me check that again. Right, press A for a lethal takedown. Or Y for a knockout. Okay. So that's the knockout. Alright, let's just kill him then. Rip. And pick him up. Move like we can water. drop him in here. <laughs> Quiet. Can we like drop him inside the building? I don't think so. Or can we? Looks like we have to drop him before entering the building. Or something like that. No, we dropped him in the building, right, okay. No noise. So can we do anything about these bodies? I mean probably not. <laughs> what would we want to do Move with a like bunch water. of bodies? Probably nothing. I'll leave them there. So Quiet. let's keep moving. Check out the next building. Oh, we can also go up. And this is probably what we're supposed to do. <laughs> there we go. I'm going in. And up. And here's the next message. We can also go this way if we want to. No noise. <laughs> let's check out the next no message. Rotate the camera. Oh, we can't jump down. It's too high. All right, fair enough. It is pretty high, so we don't have need to, to go this way after all. Move like we have to take a shortcut. Quiet. That is the have shortcut. Okay, hold on. Rotate the camera a bit so that we can see better. No, no. There we go. That works. And jump down. How do we kill both guards at the same time? I wonder. I mean. If I kill one of them, the other one will see us, obviously. Let's see if we can just avoid them. I assume we are supposed to just avoid them. This isn't XCOM, you're not supposed to kill everything that moves. Next message. All enemies have field of view represented by a green view cone. Choose an enemy and use right mouse button to display their view cone, alright? Enter an enemy's view cone and it will fill up with yellow. Alright. Wait, hold on. Choose enemy and use right mouse button. 
If the yellow reaches you, the enemy will spot you and raise the alarm. Alright, so there we can see him. To take a or shortcut. his Biocon, I mean. I'm going in. Alright, and these guys. There we go. So this way. We can just kill that guy. No noise. I assume that's what we're supposed to do. Let's wait for him to start moving in I the other direction. This one. Or take him out quietly. There we go, now we can move in. I don't think we should be running. Move like water. He will probably hear us. At least I assume that's what's going to happen. Pick him up and we'll move Quiet. him out of the way. We'll drop him back I'm here, I suppose. Alright, so far so good. What about this building? Anything interesting to see in there? Let's have a look. No, nothing. Alright. Fair enough. How about we move a little bit faster? What's going on here? Not a whole lot. All right. Move like water. No way there. Here's the next message. I like Quiet. this so far. Crouch with space. An enemy's field of view has two areas, bright and dark. Press space to toggle crouch and move through the dark area undetected. Objects like bushes and rocks create dark areas for you. Crouching also keeps you hidden on higher ground. All right then. So let's crouch. And here they are. The cones. Yep. Dark area. So if I stand up, they will see me. Makes sense. Hayato can throw stones to distract enemies. Press D, choose a target spot and press left mouse button to throw a stone. Enemies within the blue circle will look towards the point of impact for a few seconds. You can't lure enemies with stones, but a few seconds of distraction will go a long way. To take them out. All right. Better use a distraction. Wait, how do we throw stones again? With D, right. Is that an option on the interface? I assume it is. Right here, that's the ability. Throw stone. Where are we supposed to go again? We can go into the building. Into this building. Okay. We can go this way. There's the next message. So I assume we're supposed to go that way. Okay, we can throw a stone and then move towards the bush. I assume we're not supposed to run, although I'm not actually not sure. Will they hear us? No. Okay. So one more time and we can run through. Let's make some noise. Looks like running is actually fine. They will not hear us. Uh, hold on, I was a little bit too slow there. Crouch. We can move through here. Wait, is that some kind of barricade? Seems like it. Let's make some noise. Let's throw the rock again. Quiet. Have to take a We shot. can't actually move through here. Wait, what the heck was that supposed to be? No straight path. No straight path. We can jump down. There we go. That works. I'm going in. Damn. The offense has started. And here's our objective, kind of. Forward, men. All the show them. You. you have nowhere to run! Show yourself! Uy, samurai. Always get themselves killed. Hate to admit it, but he's my best chance. Better help him. Okay, looks like we need to help him. Let's check the next message. Fast. See what's going on here. Hayato's shuriken can kill one enemy from medium range. Press S, choose a target, and the left mouse button to throw the shuriken. The blue circle indicates the noise made by the dying enemy. Make sure to recover the shuriken before you move on, alright? So here's the ability, we can do that. Not throw an obstacle. Let's check his cone first. Okay, we need him to look to the side, and then we can throw it. Shuriken ready. Okay, let's try that Don't then. Shuriken. We can also just Don't throw a rock to distract him. Close. And he's dead. Mine. Rip. 
So grab the shuriken, move the body first. And we can Fast. drop it back here. Using there we go. Alright, let's move on then. This way. Here's another guard. A shortcut. We can also kill him, I assume. Watch for shuriken jutsu. Yeah, we can. That should be fine, they won't hear him. Sounds good, but now we Time also to have to pick up the shuriken. Good. We can drop him down here or something. Alright. Now. now, how do we take care of these guys? That's a good question. Oh, we are supposed to go up here from the looks of it. Alright. Fair enough. That will distract them. <laughs> oh, and our new friend will kill them. I noticed you that works. Just now. Tell me your name so I can thank you properly. Mind if you let me inside first? I like being thanked in person. <laughs> Very well. I will repay my debt at once by opening the gate for you. How nice of him. Okay, select a character. Death. So that's our Honor. new guy that Death we control. All right, use your two swords to take down all enemies in close range. Close range! Doesn't pierce samurai armor. Noise radius, 6. Cooldown 18 seconds, range 3. Use your katana to perform a close range attack. Pierces samurai armor. Place a bottle of sake to lure an enemy. If it gets picked up, you will have to retrieve it. And heal 3 points of damage. All right then. So open the gate. I will join them soon if I do not proceed. Might as well quick save. And back to our other guy. Can we jump up or something? How do we go up? Just passing through here? Yeah, hold on. How do we actually go up? I think we're supposed to control our other guy for now. So let's do that. Press D, choose a target spot. Yep. Enemies can spot the bottle in the bright area of their field of view. If an enemy picks up the bottle, you must incapacitate them to get it I back. Them towards me. Okay, so this guy. Let's try that. Good memories. So now he will pick it up and we can kill him or something. Uh, so hold on. Doesn't really matter how we kill him, I don't think so. Rip. Give him my bottle back, thanks. And we'll drop him over here. Looking good so far. Three guards. Yeah, that's the other attack. Sword wind. Kill all enemies in range. Press S, choose the target, yep. He will dash to the center of the red circle and kill everyone within his range. Swordwind is very effective but has a long cooldown. Use it with care. What's the cooldown? 18 seconds. That's not so bad. How close do we have to be? This is enough. That should do it. There we go. And they are all dead. Nice. Oh, and now we can blow up the gate with the cannon. There we go. That works. My thanks again for your assistance. I am Oshiro Mugen, and you are Hayato from the Iga region. Iga, I see. There were rumors that our shogun had hired a shinobi. Tell me, what is your mission? I have to open the Agoda Mon. <laughs> the main gate? Preposterous. It is heavily fortified. Not from the inside. One barrel of gunpowder will do the trick. Just have to get it in position. Alright then. This map is actually pretty big. Yeah, doesn't look like we're even halfway done. But I work alone. I will not hear it. Alright. Together we will succeed where we both fail alone. Can we center back on our guys? <laughs> As you wish. We have to be quiet, or we won't get far. View cone marker. If you want to make sure a spot is unwatched, use the view cone marker. Choose a target spot and hold right mouse button to place the view cone marker. Enemies that see the view cone marker are highlighted. 
once they lost sight of it, the highlight disappears, all right? All right hey, Sounds useful. Here. We shall do this your way. Like that? Okay, that's nice. Let's move on, shall we? Can we move both dots at the same time? Don't see a way. Doesn't look like it. I can't drag a box. Yeah, we can with control. All right. Keep your head down. Let's move on. So hold on. How do we do this then? Let's quick save. Do we just open the gate or what? <laughs> I mean, looks looks like it. Hmm. The gate's guarded on the other side. I'd rather go around. Find a spot okay, fair enough. Climb here. Walls. Makes sense. Climb the walls. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> in that armor, case. Huh? Don't worry. Once I'm inside, I'll clear the way for you. Done. Yes, we are crouching. Uh, don't worry. Don't leave bodies out in the Okay, open. we got a guard. In bushes, barrels, empty houses. That one day I'd take Let's see if we can kill him. Should be easy enough. Wait, Maybe more guards incoming. Yep, let's stay up here for now and wait for them to go away. Better stick to cover. What do we do with the body? We'll have to move it somewhere. I assume. Right, let's kill him really quick. We can move the body into the bushes or something like that. Can we run with it? No. Quick. So we'll drop it in here like so. And now we can crouch. So how do we kill these two guys? Maybe we're not supposed to. All right. Let's see. I wonder if we can kill them. Let's give it a shot. Why not? Just need to wait for them to move away. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Blades ready. Come on. I wonder if we can kill both. That kind of worked? Well, not really. Yeah, there were two more dudes. Can we run away? Nope. Alright, hey, we tried. Let's reload. But it's doable, we just have to do it quicker before they move out of the way. Yeah, I didn't look at these two guys down there. These are definitely a problem. Come on. Blades ready. Can you not move faster? Yeah, I think we should run instead of crouch. Keep your head that will down. make it a little bit easier. We need to fortify this. Moving. Let's wait for them to come here again. Just have to attack them faster and not crouch when moving up. Oh, I wonder if they will stop if we throw a stone. We can try. Straight into battle. If only to see how patrols interact with stones. That we can noise. throw around. If they stop, that will make our job easier. Obviously. So let's try that. Okay, they will stop. Nice. So now we can kill them both. I think we'll take some damage if we do that. We took a little bit of damage, but we are fine. Oh, more dudes are coming. Let's see what's going to happen now. We can crouch inside the bushes. They will look for us. Okay. Good to know. Will they... Oh, will they find us? They will find us. Right. Time to move. So we're not supposed to do that. Let's try that again. We'll just avoid them. But it was worth testing. Alright, now don't move out of there. Stay inside the bushes. Okay, let's move. We'll just follow them and move around the building. We can go into the building. Moving. Okay, we need these guys to not see us. Doesn't look like they will look in this general direction. Okay, so far so good. Quick. There, we can move into the bushes. Now, what exactly are we supposed to do here? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not quite what I wanted to do there. Yeah, I think they will see us. Can we jump up? Too slow. 
A little bit too slow, yeah. Let's try that again. Okay, let's try this again. But I like this so far. Close one. It's a shame it's not a genre that you see very often these days. Right. We need to fortify this area. Keep your head down. Come on. So let's place a marker over Wait. there. So that we'll know what's going on. This guy's gone. Oh yeah, right. We need to move through very quickly, basically. So let's try that. And the other guy. This is going to be a little bit tricky. You're doing better than I thought. Oh, hold on. There's a map. Okay. And some options. Uh, your way of things is still strange hmm. to me. I don't think we're supposed to go through here. Probably up. Let's try that. The south wall needs securing. Okay, let's go up. Got to be fast. That seems like a better plan. There we go. Need a shortcut. And up again. That is a good shortcut, yes. He didn't see us. And now throw a stone. That's not exactly what I wanted to do there. Yeah, I didn't want to jump all the way down. He still died. But now the other guy will likely... Yep, they will see us. Alright, let's try that again. You need good timing. Okay. We need another quick save on the other side. Just passing through. Yeah, just passing Get through. On the move. Nothing to see here, move along. Totally nothing suspicious. How about we move through here and kill that guy? That seems like a slightly better idea. Oh, they will see us. No, they will not see us. Okay, then let's throw a rock like so. And move through. You're doing better than Maybe I rotate the camera uh, a bit. Is still strange to me, but I am okay, then. Should be doable, but we have to wait for the other guard to move out of the way. Now, let's try this. Straight into battle. Blades ready. <sighs> and pick up the body. Okay, dump it in the bushes. And now we'll wait for the other guard to come back and then start moving away. Will he get suspicious because the other guard is not here? That's a good question. I don't know. No, he will not. All right. Well, let's just kill him really quick. It would probably make sense if they got suspicious. But, oh well. So let's just dump him inside the bushes or something. Probably not needed, but just in case. And kill that guy. RIP. Alright, good. We can also dump him inside the bush. So, let's see what's going on here. Shadow mode. If you want multiple characters to act simultaneously, use shadow mode. Press left shift to switch to shadow mode. You can save one action per character. Press enter to execute all saved actions at once. Oh, nice. So, kind of like combos. Alright. Left shift. But how is that useful for us right now? Our other guy is all the way in the back. I am Oshiro right here. We still have to open the gate for him. You so how shooting. do we go about doing that? Let no one What's going on here? Well... I don't think we're supposed to progress on our own, but how do we go about getting him inside? We must be vigilant. We'll have to kill this guard first. How are the granaries doing? While avoiding all the other guards. That might not be easy. Careful now. However, this episode is getting a little bit long already, so I'm going to continue in the next one. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Let me know in the comments below what you think, and I'll see you next time.